Welcome back, everyone. Entertaining guests with dietary restrictions during barbecue season can be stressful, but there are so many great options beyond frozen veggie burgers to impress your guests, whether they're meat eaters or not. So here with her favorite plant-based barbecue swaps for summer is the YouTuber behind Vegan Afternoons with two spoons, Hannah Sundarani. Welcome back to the show. perfect time because a lot of people are gearing up for the long weekend ahead and a lot of people may be having some big gatherings finally <laughs> um, so instead of maybe just sw swapping chicken skewers you know for whatever you're now going to start with swapping it with tofu yes which is really interesting so why do you think they work and do they taste good <laughs> So yes, they do taste good and they work really well. I love swapping tofu for chicken because it really has a similar profile. It's high in protein. It is easily accessible at the grocery store, very easy to find. And it really adopts whatever flavors you add to it. So here we've got it in a lemon garlic marinade. We've marinated it for an hour and then we basically thread it through a bamboo mm. skewer. We add colorful vegetables and there you oh, go. Oh, it's really nice. It's really good. Yeah. <laughs> I really, I've just started experimenting with cooking with tofu, but I, I feel like I suck at it and I would be very intimidated to throw it on the barbecue. So what are some tips that you have um, for like the barbecuing successfully with tofu? So very good question. I think a lot of the times when people are thinking about tofu, they're feeling intimidated really because they're just not used to it yet. The more you cook with it, the more familiar you get with it, the less intimidating it becomes. So the first one is don't be intimidated. It, it is very easy to use. If you're doing it on the barbecue, my recommendation is to paint the barbecue grill with a little bit of oil. Mm. That will stop it from mm. sticking, which might be something that you experience. That little bit of oil goes a long way. Mm -hmm. Okay, up next, you say that cauliflower makes the best steak. So tell us about how you cook them on the barbecue. Yes, cauliflower is having a comeback. People, <laughs> yes. <laughs> People are using it in really creative ways. And here we have it with a cauliflower steak. It's a two-step process. You basically take that slab of cauliflower, you're gonna wrap it in tin foil, put it in the barbecue, and it's gonna steam from the inside out. Then you pull it's it good. out, put it directly on the barbecue to toast each side. That's when it gets nicely charged, which is what people love. And you've got this delicious melt-in-your-mouth cauliflower that's so delicious. <laughs> it is really, really good. I've had mm -hmm. cauliflower steaks before, but if you can talk to the other carnivores maybe in the room, yeah. does it actually make you feel Feel full like how does that compare yeah so definitely we're talking about a vegetable here it's not high in protein and so what I like to do is I like to serve it with chickpeas the chickpeas add in the proteins I've also drizzled mm. drizzled with a little bit of tahini and then a little bit of parsley really elevates the dish it makes it feel like kind of like you're having a swanky barbecue you could serve this for date night and it will keep you full nice all right so you've, you've done the skewer you've done the steak but burgers. But burgers are a barbecue staple, right? And you said that there's a great way to make vegan patties using lentils. Yes, so okay. these are my lentil patties. The lentil is the protein in this dish. We also have some roasted eggplant in there as well as breadcrumb. I'm really loving the flavors in this burger because it's full of umami flavor. Oh, there's miso good. in there. <laughs> There's tamari. It's giving mm. me Asian fusion vibes, which I really love about mm -hmm. it. Um, and also pretty straightforward to prepare. I'm sorry, I'm in <laughs> I have a next question. It's really, really, really delicious. I've never actually really had a lentil burger before, so I'm curious to hear how they come together. Yeah, so pretty much what you do is you throw the lentils, the roasted eggplant, and the breadcrumb in a, something like a food processor or a blender. You make it into a patty mixture, form into little round discs, and then throw it right on the barbecue. Amazing. Yeah. Left, uh, you've swapped pulled pork for jackfruit for sloppy joes. Um, I think we've talked about jackfruit on the, on the show before, but I actually haven't dared to cook it for myself yet. Um, for those who want to try it, what should they know about jackfruit? Yeah, so for those that don't know, jackfruit is a tropical tree fruit. It's found in Southeast Asia. Not as widely available in fresh form, but there actually is a lot of canned varieties of jackfruit. So next time you're at the, you're at the grocery store, check out the canned fruit section and it'll be there. And basically what you're gonna do is you're just gonna simmer it in a barbecue sauce and it pulls apart into this be these beautiful ribbons that look so much like the real deal, really like pulled pork. 
Mm -hmm. Good. So Sweet. then how do you, what do you add to it? To so the barbecue sauce, it's really simmering in this barbecue sauce. We've got nice barbecue flavors in there. You're gonna let it simmer for 30 minutes. And after that, it's really gonna pull apart into these wonderful ribbons. I like to put it on a sandwich bun and then add a little bit of coleslaw. It gives it a really nice crunch. And I find that the tanginess of the coleslaw really offsets that barbecue flavor really nicely. These are all great. Thank you, um, thanks for lunch. <laughs> Um, so happy barbecuing for everybody over this long weekend ahead. Thanks for watching. We've got lots more discussion and debates on everything from food and fashion to pop culture and current events. Don't forget to click like and subscribe.